My name is Dora and I'm the owner of New Mexico Tamale Company located here in Bellingham, Washington. Well, I was born and raised in the state of New Mexico and New Mexico is the chili capital of the world. Grew up in the food industry and uh, 22 years ago I relocated with my job. I didn't realize the flavors that I'd left behind until I left. Lots of beautiful Mexican restaurants everywhere but I couldn't find any New Mexican restaurants. And then I started my journey with putting my mom's recipes into effect in a more healthier way. My mom lost her battle with diabetes and I knew number one that I was going to be a lard free facility. I have a gluten intolerance so I knew that in order for me to enjoy the flavors of my own food I was going to have to make the majority of it be gluten free. So I uh, put together my logo, my concept, my business plan and I kind of held on to it. I didn't allow it to hold me back in a lot of ways. As I thought of stuff, then I'd go ahead and, and put it together. When I traveled around the U.S. with my job, I realized that what I missed the most was tamales, because they're just, there's just nowhere to be found outside of the state of New Mexico readily. Unless you knew somebody that knew somebody that was making them, you know, you couldn't find them. Then I said, well, that is something for sure that is deep in my heart and because of the process of making them and how you sit together and for hours and just talk and, and all the stories that are told around a table, it's kind of like quilting. You know, when you sit and, and your mom and your grandma and your cousins and your aunts, the beautiful stories that come into effect and that's kind of how making tamales is. In any case, I put my recipes together they transferred us here to Bellingham, Washington, to Ferndale, actually, to BP Refinery. I always said whenever I go to somewhere that doesn't have lots of good tamales and is lush, green, rainy, and beautiful, that's where I'm going to open my shop. And sure enough, when we landed here, I said, this is it. I said, this is it. And in 2017, we opened a little shop in Ferndale absolutely lovely and I said well it's just gonna be me and maybe another uh, person we'll have a little shop and sell tamales and salsas and that quickly grew it quickly grew to where I had to consider getting a chef my chef has been with me now we're going on 16 years I mean six years this morning six years he's been with me and it's it's, it's lovely it's lovely he comes with a culinary degree and I said now look I need someone that knows how to work with food, but I'm gonna teach you the Southwest way. He was on point, and to this day, he manages 90% of the cooking, and he's on point every day. For most people, it's a, it's a corn flour dough that is used, and it's very similar to a corn tortilla. And, and, and the behaviors are a lot similar to the dough for the tamal is very similar to the corn tortilla. Although the corn tortilla is cooked through hot heat, the heat from steam is what cooks the tamal. And we use a corn husk and we spread the masa, which is the dough, and the fillings we put in the middle, fold it over, creates a little vessel. We stand them up and then we cook them with steam. They need to be brought back up to temp when you take them home with steam again. It's kind of like a corn tortilla. If you leave it in the fridge outside of a plastic bag, it gets hard. The tamal has the same behaviors. If you put a tortilla in the microwave, it's gonna dry unless you put it inside a plastic bag and recreate that little steam pocket. And then it gives you that better flavor. So that's the only difference in the behavior as far as corn. But the beauty of the tamal is we use no lard in any of our, our dough, our, our masa. And the fillings are endless. You know, we have them available in pork, chicken, vegetarian, and vegan. That is truly so important. 95% of my menu available today is available in vegan. Growing up, my best friend was a vegan. And I remember, and this was in the 70s, when the options out there for vegans weren't very broad. And I remember she would come to, to the house to spend the afternoon or even sometimes spend the night. And she'd bring her own little lunch because she knew that she couldn't eat the majority of the stuff that we did in our household. 
My mom made it her mission to convert our food, our traditions, for her to be able to enjoy. When she was able to sit at the tabletop, surrounded by those chairs, and enjoy a meal that we were enjoying as well, that she was able to have, I saw her personality change. I saw her become this beautiful, happy, and robust friend that she loved going to the table. She didn't have that, oh, I guess I'll get my bag and sit with them, you know, watching us eat something different than what she was eating. And I remember the first time that my mom made her stacked enchiladas, you know. They didn't have the cheese on it, but she was enjoying something that looked so familiar to what we were having that day. It was priceless. I knew I didn't want to deprive anybody of these flavors that I grew up with. And it's really not that difficult. Here we don't have a different price for vegans and a different price for protein. Everybody is the same across the board, you know? I knew that I was gonna have a challenge in trying to get the products out there of different types to use to make any of the vegan options as close to the flavors that I was delivering in a traditional way. And uh, it's possible. There is a lot of cooking involved and a lot of hits and misses, but I believe that our menu that we have here in a vegan option is truly, truly as close as you can get to the flavors that we deliver on a day-to-day -day basis, especially the chile con queso. A vegan chile con queso, I said, I am gonna go through anything that I can because I knew that was one of the things I wanted to deliver to the vegans, and we did. The primary seasoning and food and flavor in New Mexico tamale is the hatch chili. The hatch chili is one plant with two colors, a red and a green. When the plant first begins, it's a green long chili. At that point, we harvest it, roast it, peel it, chop it, and that's where you get the green sauce. As the fall starts to come in, the rest of the chilies that are on the vines, they turn red. At that point, we harvest the red ones, dehydrate them, which are the red pods that you see at the stores in these clear bags, and then we rehydrate those and turn it into a red sauce. And back home in New Mexico, hence my logo is red and green, are you always asked when you order something on the menu, do you want it red or green or Christmas? Christmas means you want a little bit of both. So we do the same here at New Mexico Tamale Company. We follow the same traditions as back home in New Mexico, and we just love that. It's a whole new concept for the Pacific Northwest. I love that. Well, and you mentioned how you started in Ferndale, and now you opened up a storefront in Bellingham, mm -hmm. so clearly there's been a huge community response. I mean, I see you guys all over the place. Like, what has that been like to have that community response? Beautiful, amazing, you know. I knew that I just, my mom passed away 25 years ago, and uh, she, She's the artery of all these flavors, and I think of her every day. You know, I have a picture and a little section dedicated to her, and I just say she's with me every day. She always instilled in me, you know, live life with a purpose. Do everything with a purpose. So I knew I wanted to get involved deeply in community and be able to do everything with a purpose. And that involved surrounding myself with other entrepreneurs in the, in the local area working together, sharing my good things and bad and what I'd been through with other owners so that they, it would help them. Because I know I couldn't be where I'm at without everyone else helping me and guiding me where we need to be. Community, amazing. You know, it's number one priority to help the nonprofit organizations out there. They look forward to it. I mean, they, us small businesses, is the artery that keep them alive. And, and for that, I'm grateful. There's so many wonderful organizations out there. And it's just like this week, it's Eat Local Month. And I knew that I needed to make sure that I was able to use any local ingredients that I could. And the people that I meet through those paths, allowing to blend both of our flavors together is just priceless. I just love it. 
what is something about your industry, specifically restaurants or tamales, that you feel like most people don't already know? Well, I tell you what was the struggle for me at the beginning. When we first opened and people would go in, they traditionally expected a Mexican restaurant, right? But my menu was very small and it was mainly tamales and we had enchiladas and rice and beans and a few other items as well. But what happened is I'd say, well, why don't you try our tamales? And everybody's like, oh, I don't like tamales. So I struggled with that little part right there because there was so many people in the Pacific Northwest that said, I don't like tamales. I said, well, try ours. Have you ever experienced a fresh made tamal right out of the pot? So we started doing a lot of sampling at farmer's markets, at different festivals. And once they took one taste of a fresh made tamal, they were sold, it's golden. And ever since then, now we have them frozen also, but the fresh supersede the sales of the frozen. Absolutely. So the way they've embraced the state of New Mexico and they're able to understand the difference between New Mexican food and Mexican food, priceless. Wow. You know, I knew that because uh, growing up with my mom, my mom would help the community so much. I didn't know the gratification in it. It's just amazing when you can really extend a hand to anyone that's in need out there and, and provide that beautiful service and share those flavors you know there's so many things with technology and new phones new computers new this new that that our life is changing so rapidly and what I love about a restaurant and what I love about a menu the menu will change so much but what doesn't change is the tabletop and the chairs that surround it. And that conversation where you can sit together and enjoy a meal. And, and just having people sit here and enjoy a meal together and enjoy flavors and have those beautiful conversations. Yeah, we've got the struggle of our younger generation wanting to enjoy the phone while they're eating, but there's still those priceless moments that haven't changed no matter what the time is that tabletop with the chairs around it where you can sit down and have that lovely conversation wow that's that's a difficult that's a pretty difficult question because i know that today i will still have a hot fresh tamal right out of the pot almost every day uh, for breakfast because I do not get tired every day of that fresh smell of the tamales. My other option, I think, is the chilaquiles, the fresh chilaquiles. We offer them, of course, in red chili mild, green chili hot. They come with shredded chicken. And it's just putting that fried egg on top that is so traditional to back home. Take me on a tour. Okay. Well, this is a little... Um, collection I have here for my mom you know we've been pretty blessed to receive multiple awards and and recognitions you know and uh, I'm pretty grateful for that you know we just it just happened next thing I know one after another but those are all the flavors that my mom you know delivered That's really cool. yeah so as you can see the walls and the colors of the walls I chose in a Navajo color uh, sand which is what you see a lot of stucco homes back home in New Mexico and then the pictures that are all around here those are all uh, native to to my state we have a lot of Aztec Indian a lot of Navajo Indian and those are the what I was trying to portray here the chile ristras is what you see back home a lot outside everybody's homes so that is part of back home and there's just so much history that I wanted to be able to bring that home a little bit, okay? This was just one big uh, area here and we built the kitchen and everything that's in it. You know, it was funny because my contractor was like, are you sure you want an open concept kitchen? And I said, yeah, yeah I, I want everyone to see what we have going on yeah. and, and that they're, they're dining from a nice, clean, beautiful kitchen. So here we have, we're getting ready for a, a catering now. 
but we have uh, my team is working on bagging chips we do a, we have a lot of over-the-counter items and we have all our labeling station here and then here we're getting ready to box all of the food for catering we do a lot of catering <laughs> for that I'm really really blessed as we move down this way um, this is my chef, my right hand, my artery, that's Garrett. And he's the one that runs everything when I'm not here and even when I am here, okay? So he's the one that's running the line right now. Here we have all our fresh tamales, uh, steaming, piping hot. Oh, wow. All the different flavors. And we've got all the different sides there and then the finished finally station and he's got everything going on where he's cooking over here here we just have our different corner that's our the part that nobody likes to look at but it's our dish pit <laughs> and uh, so yeah it's it's uh, pretty cool what are you cooking chef I'll do some green chili pork and some pork loin okay what would you say it, is the tamale that you sell the most right now you know it's funny because it's the hatch and, and so all my tamales have names yeah. and I decided to name them uh, different cities and different things from the state of New Mexico. You know, the Santa Fe, um, the Aztec, you know, because uh, there's Aztec Indians back home. And then there's um, the Hatch, I named it because of the Hatch chili, but it's because it's a green chili uh, pork. But the, red, the green chili uh, chicken is exactly the same, but I named that one traditional green because it's more traditional. So then everybody thinks that the hatch chili tamal is the only one that has the hatch chili, but they all have hatch chili, whether it's in red or green. But it seems like the hatch, which is green chili pork, is the most popular, yeah. We have a New Mexican in the house. Ah! Yeah. He says, okay, so what do I get? Because I was born in Taos. I said, we'll hook you up with chips and salsa. There you go. All right. Got some food. This is the wet burrito. That was some very, very specific to New Mexico. Okay. Hatch green chili. <laughs> it's coming. I'm ready. <laughs> is this a happy or a one? Uh, it's a 12 pack. <laughs> Pack it is. Red salsa. This is one of our really popular items. Really? Yeah, it's uh, so when I first started vending and we would uh, set up our tent mm -hmm. in Birch Bay and Blaine, it would be outside of like a, a gas station, a beer joint, and then it, I would set up on a Friday and everybody was pulling in to get a six pack of beer, right? And I said, what can I do so that these guys can buy from me? Yeah. So I created a six pack and a 12 pack which is a half a dozen and a dozen. And it's a half a dozen that comes with a pint of beans, a pint of rice, and an eight ounce salsa. So now, here we are, you know, what is it, almost six years later, and these are still popular. <laughs> so we get a, a dozen tamales going here, and then Garrett will put together the beans, and they get to choose their beans, their rice, and then they get to choose their salsa. We are located in uh, the Cordata Place shopping center right across from the Burlington Coat Factory and then we've got the community food co-op right behind us and uh, the address is 4151 Meridian and you can also find us our website online and you can place your order online as well at nmtamale.com and you can call us at 360-389-8841 you know there's the, our online ordering opens at 6 o'clock in the morning and we steam up a lot of dozens every day and it's a first come first serve basis. You know I always have a challenge trying to please some of those individuals that are like what? You're out? You can't be out. And, and our business is kind of like a brisket business, right? You can't hurry up the brisket. You know once you cook so much and we sell out that's it. Same with the tamales. We cook so many, and then if we're out, we're out, you know, but you can pre-order. So anytime you want, you can give us a call. You can do it even a couple, of, as, as soon as two hours in advance, and we'd be happy to do it for you. Come give us a try. We are Mexican food, because when the Mexican food entered into my state, my state, the chili capital of the world, 
it was infused with those flavors of the hatch chili. It is Mexican food, but it's of a whole different flavor.